Hello Capricorn and welcome to your September 2019 Tarot and Astrology reading. Woo, Capricorn. Wow. Okay, so right off the bat when I was sitting here shuffling, the cards that I kind of saw in the pre-shuffle, I'm not going to like name every single one of them, but I've seen a lot of cards to do with opportunity, pages, knights, um, even the queen of pentacles. A lot of new opportunity, a lot of new responsibility. For some of you, there could be new feelings coming to the surface, new love in your life, or you could just really be starting to love yourself at the moment, right? Um, so what is September? I actually have two pages of notes that I took for you guys when I was looking at the chart uh, for September, when I was looking at the astrology for September, because there's so much going on for you guys, Capricorn, in my opinion. I feel like this is going to be probably one of your, I think I feel confident enough to say that this may be one of your most interesting months uh, of 2019. And I'm very, very interested to see how this month plays out for you guys. And please let me know down below as well while you're watching this, or if you're watching this later in the month, please let me know because I'm very interested to know. Um, so anyways, this month is all about purpose and meaning, adding more purpose and meaning into your life. And you could already kind of start feeling this energy now that we are in Virgo season, even though that's the end of August, you could already be feeling like, okay, what can I do to give more meaning to what I'm doing or my life or my purpose or whatever? How can I add more spirituality to my life? How can I add more learning to my life? How can I add a new perspective? Like just basically, how can I add some oomph to my life, if that makes sense? Um, and you're really focusing on like the greater good for yourself, for your life, for the people in your life. How can you, what, like what's next basically? And that's an amazing, an amazing thing, I think for you guys, Capricorn. We have strategy coming up here for your guys' oracle card. Um, interesting. So, and as you can see, the page of pinnacles is at the bottom of the deck. Um, so, strategy. Okay, then. Planning. Some of you could be planning for a trip. Some of you could be planning to um, really invest in something. Now, whether that's financially, whether that's physically, whether that's mentally, there's a lot of investing, a lot of learning this month, um, a lot of putting yourself out there to the world. Ooh, looky, looky, Capricorn, what is going on with you guys? So the lovers popping right out. So relationship stuff could be going on. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini, but you don't have to be, or this could be a new choice, a new life path that prevents itself a big decision. I do think that there is some big decisions coming up for you or there are some big decisions coming up for you this month Capricorn because I just do okay I just do um so we have the queen of pinnacles the knight of pinnacles interesting so the hard work starts paying off some of you could have another earth sign in your life you're learning from the past you're learning from your mistakes you're moving forward you're developing you're maturing you are taking the more slow and stable route because there's a big decision in which you that is coming towards the middle of the month to where you will have more responsibility but there will also be like a burden lifted off your shoulders oh and there's the page of pinnacles again i told you it kept coming up Ooh, and the empress so capricorn this is beautiful oh my god so some of you guys could have an air sign in your life that's becoming a burden or that's leaning on, on you way too much or that you have became somewhat dependent on or they are just stressing you out. It's became a burden. And so that's where this strategy card comes up, right? Because it's like it's time to make a plan. It's time to make a plan. It's time to strategize. Oh my God, I realized that I didn't even have my mic on this whole time. I am an idiot. Oh my God. Sorry about that. I wanted to make sure that everything that I had recorded before was like, you know, able to be heard and all of that. So Capricorn, this is beautiful. Okay. So other than some of you that may have a burden of an air sign or a decision that is weighing heavy on you or a truth that is weighing heavy on you or um, some legal stuff, some contracts, 
that are maybe weighing head on, heavy on you, this month is all about the strategy and that's so beautiful because it fits totally in with the astrology as well. Um, so, and then here's your decision. Here's the lovers, here's the two paths. Um, here is the balance, the connection, some of you could be connecting with another earth sign on a more slower, mature, responsible level. Um, but, and then we have this strategy coming back in with the Empress planning, planning for the harvest, right? Planning for the winter. What can I do? What are the building blocks, the pieces that I need to help me get where I want to be, to help me with what i love to do some of you guys could meet someone if you are able to let go of the burdens of your old thought patterns the past if you are able to let go of what you think you know and that is what this month is about it is letting go of what you thought you know getting out of your comfort zones capricorn it is um being more mature it is um looking at things from a higher perspective it is planning it is being more practical being more real about the things that you believe in about your thoughts about thought pa thought patterns that are no longer serving you behavioral patterns that are no longer serving you um and that could be in any aspect of your life you know your beliefs about spirituality your beliefs about religion your beliefs about morality your beliefs about philosophy your beliefs about relationships your beliefs about you you know, and with Saturn in your sign, your ruling planet, you've been undergoing this major reconstruction along with the South Node and Pluto of who you are as a person, how you represent yourself. What is the authentic you? You know what I mean? What is more authentic and more real for you, Capricorn? And that is what you need to be asking yourself this month. Those are the questions that you need to be asking yourself this month. Um, so yeah, it's all about the greater good. It's all about purpose. Um, adding more of a purpose and meaning to your life. Um, so ideas, plans, biases, being critical, um, and your beliefs. You know, it's time to see the bigger picture and also see the smaller details. Um, bringing meaning to those smaller areas and those smaller details of your life. Bringing a healthy lifestyle into your life. It's not just about what you believe, but it's also being it's also practicing that in your day-to-day -day lives your daily routines your health your habits etc um so and there could be some behaviors and some lifestyle choices that are holding you back from where you're really wanting to go and those could be very apparent this month but the, this is the month to fix it right with the page of pinnacles here this is the month to plan to strategize to fix it because we're getting closer and closer to your sign again we're getting closer and closer to next year which is really when you're going to be reborn when all of that shit gets not all of it but like the south node and saturn when those finally get out of your sign you are going to be like a completely different person capricorn and you already probably are a completely different person than when they first went into your sign I believe it might have been last year, but I could have, I know the uh, North Node went in last year. I forget. I think Saturn went in last year too. All right. So then we have temperance, beautiful energy, patience, beliefs. And uh, for those of you that are Capricorn risings, Virgo is your ninth house and Sagittarius is the ruler of the ninth house. So temperance is Sagittarian energy. So this is amaz amazing. Religion change. Some of you are having some big changes in your belief system. You are finding out what works for you spiritually and how to incorporate that in your day-to-day -day routines, your day-to-day -day life, etc. You are, temperance is a beautiful card because it is reconciling the past with the present. You are changing the Knight of uh, Wands here, you are changing, you are traveling, you are moving forward, taking big steps and reconciling the past and the present to where you are now this month, Capricorn, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, so the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Cups. So purpose, um, gratitude, all of that, like I was saying, finding the higher purpose, the higher meaning to things, finding stability and what you believe, your emotions, etc. Then we have the Five of cups so if that's not a glow up then i don't know what the hell is you know what i mean it's, it's moving on and so for the pisces full moon there is you are going to be asked to kind of let go of some belief systems um and move the hell on you are gonna i think be asked to and the pisces full moon is um september 14th 
you are going to be asked to move on from some things that you have been holding on to for a long time. And this is a huge test for you, Capricorn. And let me tell you why. If you can let go of the things that you've been clinging to, if you can let go to your old behaviors, your old thought patterns, and you'll know what as the month progresses and the Pisces full moon gets close. It's almost like you're, you're gonna have this decision. If you wanna take the higher road, if you wanna keep taking the higher road, if you wanna keep being this new improved you, if you wanna take the mature route, the Saturn route, or if you wanna fall back into your old ways, and I'm pretty sure I don't think you do because on the other side of this Pisces full moon is so much joy, is so much happiness, like you won't even believe it. Um, and then you can create a whole new world for yourself and manifest a whole new world for yourself, right? With the magician there. So very interesting. That's getting into your extended bonus reading, which by the way, if you didn't know, I do extended bonus readings to all of my readings where on Patreon, I will go and clarify all of these cards. I will pull more cards, pull more Oracle cards um, and get a better, more general idea of how this month is going to affect you. Um, so if you would like to see that, definitely um, check out my description below. Hit, um, click on the Patreon link and make sure you sign up for the $5 a month or higher uh, membership levels because the $5 a month is where you start getting the extended bonus readings for all the signs, okay? So anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at your guys' cards here, and then we will move on. Um, well, while we're looking at your cards, we're going to discuss uh, what else is happening for you guys this month that's super interesting and in more detail and go over all the notes that I have here because I think you're going to find it pretty fascinating as well. So anyways, so like I was saying before, um, it's about organizing your thoughts. It's about looking at the details from a bigger and larger angle and bringing meaning into the small details of your everyday life, your daily routines, and more. Um, any choices or lifestyle, uh, any, any kind of lifestyle choices that are holding you back or causing you to not push forward, to not have clarity, to not realize things. Um, so it, it's almost like there's being holes poked in your belief systems and your ideas and your thoughts this month. Um, or your philosophical ideas, or if you're a religious person, like all of that stuff, there's being holes poked in that for you to take a bigger look at things, for you to take a more critical, analytical look at those things in order for you to progress and move forward in a very big freaking way, Capricorn. I mean, this is huge. So anyways, um, also it is not being so judgmental or so critical on what others believe or about other people's beliefs, what other people think, all of that kind of stuff, um, and really understanding that everyone doesn't have to see things the way you do or believe what you do, Capricorn. So definitely make sure you take that into consideration this month as well. Um, and it's getting rid of beliefs that no longer bring you a sense of meaning to your life or bring you a sense of purpose to your life. And it's also a theme of helping others, being at service to others and, you know, helping others once you are good with yourself obviously i don't want you guys to run around and like capricorn is normally pretty good about that but virgo season can bring this kind of overly nurturing energy to where we're worried about other people more than we are ourselves and that can get a little bit you know that can knock us off balance so um, make sure that you're being aware of that as well so you are going to be focused on serving the greater good this month of your life of the people's lives that are in your life of the world even possibly um, and really analyzing what morals and what principles you stand by currently and taking spiritual spirituality or your spiritual practice and making it more real making it more practical incorporating it in your daily life um, and then in the small details the small moments of your day-to-day -day lives this is about something that you can grasp personally capricorn not like everybody else it doesn't have to be everybody else it's something that you can can grasp um, and that's good for you um, so anyways this it could be um, even teaching like you could be teaching or sharing things or helping other people learn in some way or you could be learning new things um, it's searching for a better understanding of of you know what you spiritually believe it's finding meanings and the details of your everyday life I already said that um, it's not being the person that preaches X, Y, and Z, but goes to church, you know, every Sunday, but then leaves church and goes get and goes and gets annihilated at a bar. You know what I mean? Like it's not that it's being a living a more authentic and real life to you. And I mean, if that's authentic and real to you, fine. But it's like, don't, it's really about talking, like walking the talk basically. Um, and, and 
practicing what you preach, practicing what you believe, and figuring out if, if you do practice what you believe, does it really show you that you believe that? You know what I mean? Like, while you're practicing your beliefs, like, you may find, like, okay, this isn't working like I always thought it would or like it, it had in my head. Like, maybe I, need to, maybe I need to change some things up. You know what I mean? So it's about getting real and honest with yourself and not um, believing any lies that maybe you've been telling yourself for a long time about X, Y, and Z, basically. Um, so it's also about dealing with things that you've been avoiding, getting out of your comfort zones, like I've said, understanding the specifics on what you believe and putting them to the test. Um, you may find that you're criticizing um, religious views or religions or philosophical ideas just for the purpose of being honest with yourself um, and finding a new and true path um, and beliefs that's authentic to you as well. So if you're doing it out of that, that's fine. But if you're doing it just to kind of like screw with people, we know how you are Capricorn. So <laughs> try to hold your sarcasm in a little bit if you can. Um, or don't, I mean, it's completely up to you. So I, I definitely don't think that you should suppress yourselves because this month is about finding yourselves and finding out what you believe. And some of you may have to like go through some, some moments where you kind of go back and forth with someone about what they believe. But just try to remember that, try to come to a higher understanding that other people are allowed to believe what they want, just like you're allowed to believe what you want. And even if they don't see your viewpoints or you don't see their viewpoints, that's okay, if that makes sense. So um, you could be traveling this month, like I said. So now let's get in, those are like the biggest themes this month. So now let's get into the actual step-by-step -step astrology. We're just gonna go over the moon cycles mainly. Um, the Virgo new moon is on August 30th. Um, so right before we get into September. So this could be a long term decision or an opportunity that steps forward where you have to make some kind of shift um, or you decide to, you know, step forward with something. But it's going to be something that you have to be willing to put in the work in that may cause you a little bit more responsibility on your part. But you know, it's better for the greater good. You know, it's more stable. You know, it's more secure for you. Um, and it's something that's coming from within, basically. I mean, yeah, something could come from without, but you also have to be able to trust yourself from within and be more responsible for yourself. Um, so it's something that you may have to put in a little bit more work into, right? Um, that you may have to that you may have to put in a little bit more work into. And then we have the Queen and the Knight of Pentacles coming up here as well. So this could be a new responsibility, a new situation that's more stable, an action towards more stability, something that gives you a sense of authority um, or just more purpose or meaning in your life. Um, you could be getting pushed out of your comfort zones and into a higher understanding of relationships and the purpose behind the relationships um, or the purpose of your life, the direction of your life, your decisions, your thinking, your behaviors. Um, and if you met if you if you meet someone this month like relationship wise okay um basically what could happen is they could be something or someone completely out of your comfort zone right um completely out of your comfort zone that you're not used to maybe they're a little wild or something like that and they may not be may not be romantic maybe they're just a friend or someone that advises you about something or whatnot but um it, it's it could be someone that you're not used to that's not in your norm you know what i mean um, maybe they live far far away or they're um foreign or something along those lines right um so, but it, I think because Venus will be making a beautiful trine to Saturn and your sign Capricorn, I think they may help you see things about your self-worth, about your beauty, right? Um, if you do meet someone, or this could be a realization you have on your own. I'm just saying if any of you guys meet someone this month, it may be someone that typically you may not normally talk to, or you may have had certain viewpoints on in the past or just someone that's a little bit out of your comfort zone but i think with this trying to saturn they may have the ability to be a pretty stable person in your life um so definitely let me know if that ends up happening i'm very interested to know um and also if you want to see how this month is like personally personally going to go for you um and not like a just a general reading definitely hit me up and get a monthly reading if you have a virgo sun moon or rising then you get ten dollars off of all of the readings this month so definitely go check that out um if you're interested at tawny michelle there should be a little you know the words the 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 website down in the corner if you're interested anyways so um yeah 
that is that um, on the 14th we have the Pisces full moon and I think this is where that shedding comes in that we were talking about at the bottom of the deck because this is a culmination point almost like a boiling point even um, for some of you where there may be some shedding or some endings of old ways of thinking um, thoughts beliefs a decision it's really important that if you have a choice in the matter if something happens that you react in a sense that is more stable more mature and that you try to find re um reason reasoning in the situation that you try to find meaning a higher meaning um and that you focus on your self-worth and how far that you that had that you've came capricorn this could have something to do with um maybe something that was hidden from you something that you thought was true but wasn't or something that um, you didn't know about or something you may have been a little bit delusional about um, but it's really important to let go of old shit if you want this new life that's coming and I really honestly see it in the cards too I feel like some of you will not be able to do this and then towards the end of the month when the payoff comes when the true payoff comes it may not come the same way it would have if you were able to contain yourself and take the more um, higher road basically and that is what temperance is all about as well as taking the higher road even when you're faced with a, a sudden change right so um, and some of you could be dealing with a fire sign towards the end of the month a Taurus a Libra or a Virgo as well um, so yeah and then like I said we have the air sign here as well so Aquarius Libra and Gemini um, so anyways that could be what happens for some of you around the Pisces full moon but it would really depend on your own personal chart um, so make sure you're watching your other signs videos for September as well so on the 18th your ruling planet Saturn that has been in your first house like we said is going to be going direct so any hard work that you've been doing for yourself on yourself this is when you will start to see the culmination of everything just coming together and the payoff and I really think it's going to be amazing you know like you've been through so much to get this and it's coming you know what I mean like just amazing so um, definitely pay attention to that like I said this is around the 18th so towards the end of the month Saturn is your ruling planet Capricorn and it has been in your sign so basically if you're a Capricorn rising this has been in your first house that has been completely making you more mature more responsible um, really focused on the you know the meaning of things and why you do the things you do and so it may have been kind of restricting you in some areas of your life in order to teach you lessons right so and some of you could even be feeling this if you're a Capricorn Sun you know and because Saturn has been going across your Sun so um, so yeah this will really start to pay off um, the lessons will start to make sense but this is mainly I think if some of you are able to get through that Pisces full moon and the then you know this this month and really work towards bringing out this meaning and purpose into your life and into the smaller areas of your life and everything else that we talked about basically so then on the 28th we have a new moon in Libra and this is going to be in your 10th house so this is you guys rule the 10th house so um, this is your house basically you just have Libra in it so this is really going to be where things you really start balancing out this new life these this new payoff that you're getting um, where this month it's strategizing and then next month it's like the payoff starts coming in and you know and everything starts making sense and there's there's just this harmony and this sense of really um, knowing the truth and being able to balance things out and making big decisions and having more balance and harmony in your relationships and all of that but we'll talk more about um, October next month and your guys's reading then so anyways Capricorn that is basically your reading this is an amazing reading and I cannot wait to clarify and go over this more in the extended bonus reading so if you're interested like I said check out patreon also if you are interested in um, learning about spirituality and different philosophical ideas and um, getting more aligned with your soul your purpose in this life definitely go check out my new online course that I am teaching soulology um, and I offer that on patreon as well for two of the different membership levels they're the highest two membership levels on my patreon but they get the course um, you can read more about it on my website and you can see more about it on patreon as well you get a shit ton more than just the course for signing up you get readings every week like one question readings every week you get um, new and full moon chart readings you get 
tons of stuff, new and full moon rituals, um, and, and just tons more stuff, the extended bonus readings, all of it. So definitely go check it out if you're interested. Um, and on top of that, you get the course as well, and you get to learn a bunch of new things. You get to do your soul work with a group of an amazing people that we have in there right now. So thank you guys so much, Capricorn. You guys are some of my favorite peeps here on here on YouTube because you guys always are very supportive of my videos and I really really appreciate that and thank you guys so much for 20k so I love you guys and I will see you guys in my other videos bye